Thousands of mourners have been lining up all through the night to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II. Guards from the royal household have been standing vigil over the coffin around the clock. Some people filing past, seen bowing their heads, saluting and wiping away tears. It was very touching inside, very emotional, um, and just a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm very lucky to get in there and see Her Majesty, and um, I've met her four times. I've shook her hands four times and she presented me personally with this medal. So we're a military family, so it's very important. She was our commander in chief. Members of the royal family spent the day looking at the many tributes placed around UK for the Queen. During a visit to St. Anne's Square in Manchester, the King's brother, Prince Edward, and Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, stopped to thank people for their condolences. And the Prince and Princess of Wales visited Norfolk, where they took time to view the flowers for Queen Elizabeth. After reading some of the many thousands of tributes that have been laid outside the grounds, William and Kate then met with the crowds that gathered. And, you know, even though we're talking about five mile long lines, where we are right outside of Westminster Abbey is pretty much dead right now at three o'clock in the morning. There are no rehearsals going on like there were last night. There's virtually nobody around. The entire area is close to street traffic. Construction crews have sort of closed down for the night. They were building uh, a riser behind us for media outlets. Uh, so all is pretty quiet here but of course elsewhere in the city uh, it is certainly the opposite and the queen is lying in state 24 hours now so this is going around the clock until her funeral on monday and we are learning some new details about that including that the queen is being buried with her late husband prince philip that is happening in a private burial ceremony on monday evening